Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in his saints. This day God gives me strength of high heaven, sun and moon shining flame in my hearth, flashing of lightning, wind in its swiftness, deeps of the ocean, firmness of earth. This day God sends me strength as my steersman, might to uphold me wisdom to guide. Your eyes are watchful, your ears are listening, your lips are speaking, friend at my side. God's way is my way, God's shield is around me, God's host defends me, saving from ill. Angels of heaven drive from me always, all that would harm me stand by me still. Rising, I thank you, mighty and strong one, king of creation, giver of rest, firmly confessing threeness of persons, oneness of Godhead, Trinity blessed. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord, I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So that your people may walk in innocence, you came to us, Lord Jesus, and told us to be holy as your Father is holy. Help your children to love what is truly perfect, so that we may neither speak what is evil nor do what is wrong. Let us stand in your sight and celebrate with you the Father's love and the Father's justice. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all that you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. 
to whom you promise to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits, to find favor with you. But with contrite hearts and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were holocaust of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly, for those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man, that you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lord, your heavens, lower them and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe, shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O oh God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp to you who, gave, who give kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, God of strength, you gave your Son victory over death. Direct your church's fight against evil in the world. Clothe us with the weapons of light and unite us under the one banner of love that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of earthly life. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. A reading from Romans chapter 12. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. He will never lose his way. The law of God is his guide. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. Whoever does my Father's will, says the Lord, he is my brother my sister, and my mother. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, 
the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever does my Father's will, says the Lord, he is my brother, my sister, and my mother. My brothers, let us praise Christ, asking to serve him and to be holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Let us acclaim him, Lord, you alone are the Holy One. You desire to experience everything we experience but sin. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. You called us to love perfectly. Make us holy, Lord Jesus. You commissioned us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let your light shine on us, Lord Jesus. You desire to serve, not to be served. Help us, Lord Jesus, to give humble service to you and to our neighbors. You are in the form of God, sharing in the splendor of the Father. Lord Jesus, let us see the glory of your face. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you alone are holy. Without you nothing is good. Trusting in the prayers of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, we ask you to help us to become the holy people you call us to be. Never let us be found undeserving of the glory you have prepared for us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.